Operations Commander of the Accra Regional Police Command, Assistant Commissioner of Police, Kwesi Fori, has described the protest as peaceful and incident-free. He assured Ghanaians the police will continue to improve on its conduct during such events. Here's a report by Seloma Menya. Police deployed hundreds of personnel to ensure law and order is maintained. It also deployed the necessary logistics, which included water cannons and armored vehicles. We provided the saturated security and with all commanders on board, the regional commander on board, and we've done it, making it an incident-free event. Personnel were stationed at various points, including the 37 runabout, the Christ the King Church traffic light, Afrikiko traffic light, and the electoral commission. The protest was peaceful, although some of the protesters were unhappy. They were not allowed to use the 37 military hospital stretch straight to the Jubilee House. This created a lockdown as traffic could not flow for more than 40 minutes. At the Christ the King traffic light, the arrangement was for the protesters to wait for the leadership to present its petition to the Jubilee House. But a national vice chairman of the National Democratic Congress, NDC, Chief Sofo Azoka, forced his way and removed police barriers separating security from demonstrators. <laughs> Operations Commander of the Accra Regional Police Command, ACP Kwesifori, indicated the police allowed certain infractions to slip for the sake of peace and order. The outcome of some discussions and position of the demonstrators, police allow certain things to go in the interest of peace and security. After the petition was presented to the Electoral Commission, ACP Kwesifori described the protests as peaceful. We had a very good relations. There was no fight between the police and them. 